I need to up pop my fig tree and I will show you that in a minute but I'm using the same soil mixture that I've used before it's loose it's loose it's fluffy it's light and but the only difference is that I'm going to add pine bark to it miniature pine bark this is a 5-1-1 mixture the five part is the miniature pine bark the one part is soil and the other part is um, vermiculite or pearl so whatever container you're using whether it's five gallon or one gallon that is going to be five one gallons of pine bark and one gallon of potting soil and one gallon of gallon of um, perlite or vermiculite. The pine bark gives it room, air space for the roots to move around. It's a slow, it decomposes slowly. It helps with drainage. The vermiculite helps to retain um, water and aeration. The compost helps with um, retaining water and brings nutrition to your plant. This is my fig plant, and it was in the round bed, one of the round beds. And I had to rip it out. Unfortunately, it was attaching itself to the ground. See those roots on there? And it does have some figs on there, <laughs> which is, wow. I purchased this last year. And this is Bear's Black Fig. So, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. I think I'm gonna have to cut it out because the look at the roots on this bad boy. I'm gonna have to cut it out this pot. Pot was perfectly fine when I purchased the fig plant. It was small enough to fit in here, but as we learn, <laughs> I will be up potting it. I will be Whenever I purchase a fruit tree in the future, I will definitely put it in one of these 17 gallon containers. And then if they need to go in anything bigger, that will be fine. But I'm going to start with the 17 gallon. Let me the closer I get to you, see the roots here? So I am cutting it to release it from this pot. My brother actually has a big plant in his, on his, my brother actually has a fig plant on his property but he has his in the ground and I just purchased a Barbados cherry <laughs> and my, <laughs> my sister-in-law is from Barbados <laughs> and she's like you didn't get me one I didn't see it I just saw the guava she's like you can get me one and Barbados cherry I have to pot it also Barbados cherry is self fertile, so you don't need a pollinator with it. But you, sh you, if you, it says um, to get a pollinator if you want a higher yield, but it's not necessary. So that's out. <laughs> And thank God it was one of those soft um, pots. Look at this root right here. Look at this root on here.
and this should feed it up to slow release feed it up to um, three to six months and then I'm gonna water it in and then give it some fish fertilizer so it can get that nutrients really fast right away my grape plant and it is Niagara grape and it was came I purchased at a three as a three pack this is the green and I got it from urban farmers and this is the second year and you can see the we have a little grape on there over here also see right there in here so the soil level as you can see is very low so I'm going to remove this wood mulch that is the banana plant that died the leaves from the banana plant so I'm going to remove this wood mulch from here Remove all of this, all the weeds. Just scratch around, scratch around. Add some of the straw that I mixed. Add a handful of this, about one and a half of the all purpose fertilizer, the Trifecta Plus. And I am going to water it in with some fish fertilizer and yes I do need to make a grape tre trellis hopefully sometime in the future I will have the grape trellis ready and I'm going to put this wood chip back on here and then I will add some additional wood chips So that's one down. So this is in the, I have two more to go. And all of them are have, they have their grapes, little baby grapes on them. This one is the Concord grape. And I have another one over here I'm gonna show you. You can see the soil level is down on this one as well. And in the fall, I'm, when it, they all die back, I'm going to prune it to one, one branch, and that's it. But these both have two branches coming off of them. So let me, let me finish um, adding more soil to these two. I think I have enough adding more soil to these two um, containers and getting some more work done in the garden. Yeah, getting some more work done in the garden. There's so much to do. So you're like looking around and you're distracted because there's a lot to do before the busy season actually gets here. Um, but I just need to focus on what needs to get done. But I want to thank you for coming along with me today and spending this time with me in the garden. It goes by so much faster. Wait, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Have a blessed day. And I will see you again in the next video.